In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I am sure you are well, good people. 25th day of May, on Wednesday, we continue with our faith series. And today, allow me to talk to them who love Mother Mary and them who have Holy Rosary as a devotion. And I'll be talking to you about the importance of praying the Holy Rosary. And I always like to start this by correcting something that most of our Christians will always do. I am sure you have heard people telling you, come, we say the rosary. Another statement which is so prevalent in high schools, come, we recite the rosary. Uh -huh. This I hear all the time with our young people. It is good that I, you get this correction. Holy Rosary is a prayer which is not recited and which is not said. A prayer is prayed. A prayer is never recited. There is no one time we recite prayers unless we are in some drama contest. And because it is not a drama contest, it is a worship, when we, pr we pray the rosary, we pray, we pray the rosary and we do it meditatively. We don't recite, we don't say the rosary. I hope it is clear. So, praying the rosary it's one of the greatest tools we have for living holy and fulfilled life. Amongst the benefits or why it is so important to pray the rosary is that the rosary brings you a lot of peace, a lot of it. When you are so stressed over so many things, especially when you are living in some dangerous times. Praying the, the rosary, even a decade or two, makes that moment seem more peaceful and hopeful. Even as you know something could happen in a second. Even when you know the danger around you is imminent, meaning that uh, it is bound to happen. Even when you know that, mm -hmm. even when you know that, you are able to wade through the murky waters with a lot of peace and hope. And you know that, yes, gales may come, winds may blew or blow, but I know one thing, I will stand strong. The Holy Rosary helps you to stand strong and go through murky waters with a lot of confidence, hope, and peace. Number two, related to number one, is that the prayer of the Holy Rosary is calming, calming. Now, this is good, especially when you are living in a war-infested family. You know, there are some families that look like war zones. Maybe your spouse is perpetually on confrontation path. One way that you can always remain calm, especially at home, when you are having either troublesome children or a troublesome spouse, Always make sure that um, you pray the prayer of the Holy Rosary. Take some few deep breaths. Meditate on whatever it is that you are saying. Offer that person. You become calm. Even when you are about, you feel that you would want to burst. 
and see so many things that are imprintable, pray the rosary. You will calm down. If you are going for a session which might degenerate into chaos, just before you go, pray the rosary. And as you pray, through the intercession of our Mother Mary, pray that on your lips is placed words that will not hurt anyone. And I can tell you for a fact, and on this I speak from experience, when you get there, you are able to face whatever situation it is. Even if everyone is shouting in that hall or in that meeting, you remain calm. You deliver your message with a lot of calmness. Nobody will be hurt, but everybody will listen. People tend to listen a calm voice contrasted to a shouting, loud shout. Because a loud shout bugs our ears. But when you go somewhere and then you speak calmly, it doesn't, how, doesn't matter how tense the atmosphere or, or everybody is, but they will listen to you. Do you remember the story of Jeremiah? When he was listening to the weeds blowing, it was only in the calmness that he was able to experience God. There is divine presence in calmness. The Holy Rosary gives you this benefit. Number three, it gives you the benefit of becoming more aware of God's will. How many times, for example, have you asked yourself, what is God's will for me? What does God want me to do with my life? What is it that God wants me to do? Praying the rosary, and especially a novena with a special intention can definitely clarify the help point you need and the direction that you may need to take. I love this. Did you know that when you feel lost, when you feel very lost, and you don't know which direction to take, it is advisable that you do the luminous mysteries. Luminous, with one intention, please, Lord, light my path, light my path. Right now I am in the dark. Light my path. At least I know where to pass through. The luminous mysteries is very important, especially when you are in complete darkness, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, socially. Now I know you know. Please try this and you'll tell me. Please. Don't do it because Frasica has said, but do it because it is an eternal benefit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.